Vina and uh, this is my second talk for the year. <laughs> yeah, I got I got arrowed by him at the Dev Dev SG when I did my last talk. They asked me, hey, uh, you want to come and speak at the PHP meetup or then you want to talk cross CMS or like, uh, okay, well. So here I am right now. So yeah, I'm gonna talk a bit on uh, Craft CMS and it's so I'll go further. So what is it? It's basically a content okay. It's basically a content management system, a lot like WordPress. Uh, everyone knows WordPress, right? And uh, Concrete Five. I don't know how many years for Concrete Five. Uh, it's older. I, I also I actually I never heard about Concrete Five until uh, right now at my company we are we are, we just took on a new project and then basically we are in the process of helping them migrate uh, that they were using Concrete Five uh, for their CMS last time so and then we are helping them migrate over to Craft CMS which is a lot which is a more like modern CMS and it's a lot more up to date very clean. I'll show you later, I'll, I'll go through some demos, right? And I'll show you why, actually, I, I really love Cloud CMS as well, because it's like, uh, anyone use, of course, this is not directly a different separate products, but anyone use Laravel, then you have that enjoyment of like programming in Laravel, the experience, right? So this is like, I, have, I felt like I had a similar experience when I was going through uh, Cloud CMS. Uh. Basically, what's so cool is that, uh, okay, so how I found out about Cloud CMS was, Last year, while in the midst of build, uh, working on a main, main project in my company, we took on a side project to help uh, a company called Groher, I uh, think the one that sells showers, a German company. They wanted, uh, they wanted to get a website, in, uh, website up quick. Uh. So my directors chance upon Craft CMS, and that's how I got to know about Craft CMS. And that's how I got to like, touch a bit of code and all that. So, why, why I love it so much, right? It's very simple to use. Even though it's built on PHP, uh, on the programming side, right? It, I actually, for the whole time when I was uh, that using Craft CMS, right, and I didn't touch any PHP code except for configurations and no, no SQL, no coding required. The only coding you need is when we build templates in which, uh, which uses Twig. Uh. Twig is a lot like, if you use Laravel, it's a lot like Blade. Yeah, so it's very sim it's very similar. It uses um, the the curly braces. Uh. Later, I'll show you a demo. Okay, so some of the core concepts. This uh, so the simplicity in using Craft CMS to do a lot of things. Basically, you're just using most of the time you're using the UI to uh, update your website's content and all that, right? Uh, in 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 exchange for simplicity of use, right? Uh, during my process in learning Cloud CMS, there were a few concepts that I kind of found a bit confusing and took a while to get wrap your head around. But once you, once you you get it right, it it kind of like it kind of like falls into place. Uh, like it feels like quite um, intuitive. Uh. So the main the main core concepts of uh, Cloud CMS are sections, entries, and fields. So the first two, the, the, the last two entries and fields are pretty self-explanatory. Yeah. So entries are basically the records. Basically, like let's say in your website, right, you have maybe uh, you have a list of blog posts, right? So the, the blog posts are basically the entries. And then the fields are what, uh, later on I'll show you uh, on Cross CMS, the fields are what users will use, right, to update the website. Uh, blog post content or whatever, like the title, the images, whatever they that. So the then the big the main thing about Cloud CMS, what the whole Cloud CMS uh, structures around is what we call sections. Uh. So sections are basically uh, like containers, so called like big containers for all your entries. Uh. So these are the three main types of. Uh, types of sections in a uh, craft. So there's single, this channel, and structure. The, these images are not taken from the documentation. This one is basically, I, this is how I visualize what's, what, the, what are the different kind of section types in between. Uh. So single is very simple. It's basically like a one-off page, like home page. Let's say a page where 
it, it's a one off one off page like home page or contact page or whatever. Then channel is basically uh for for uh kind of entries where you have a whole series of this similar kind of content like let's say a post of a blog section or let's say like articles of a news news articles and all that. And then structure is a more elaborate where um, the order of the content matters like um, although personally for me uh, I while while driving around with cloud CMS I've never really chanced upon the need to use structure at the moment uh, probably for more complex complex websites like let's say if you're writing a documentation then you have a lot of uh, information a lot all the articles may have different orders in different manners yeah so some of the features that I really like about Cross CMS uh, is uh, things like so there's this thing called Dev Mode, which I will demo right now. You like see called right. So that one was really cool because when when demo mode is on, it's true. Right? It shows you all this. I will show you. Uh, so let's say I go to my code. So right now go ahead. So this is an example of let's say uh, a website like this. So I I actually built this, this template myself. Uh. <laughs> and uh, this is basically the front end of the, the this whole uh, CMS. This is the example of uh, the control panel. So uh, demoing the dev mode. If I go to Studio, and then so right now my dev mode is set to true. So let's say if I go to, maybe I demo a 404 page. Uh, let's say if I go to a random page that doesn't exist. Let's say random. It will show me, it will show me a lot of uh, debugging, a lot of error messages, which is very good, essential for debugging. But obviously, you know, as a developer and all that, we know that this can be a potential security risk because it could show a lot of uh, potential information that we don't want. Uh, once it goes to production, we don't want people to see it. Uh. And then, cross CMS makes it very simple. All I have to do, right, is to set this dev mode to false. And then, if I refresh the page, yeah, all I get is a four four page. So I don't get any debug content, debugging stuff, whatever. So I'm going to set it back to true because uh, this is on local. So yeah. So back to this. Then the next one is uh, this CP trigger. It's a CP trigger is short for control panel trigger. So what this actually means is the main the main route that your control panel. This is basically a control panel. Where the route that the control panel sits on. So right now, uh, while my development process, I already uh, set it to a red to a to a. It's not say secure in terms of I mean Cross CMS itself has its own internal security, yeah. But it's secure in terms that the so the default route when you install Craft right is admin, which is a very guessable uh, route for most like content management for a lot of admin panels and uh, control panel. So you can actually change this value right. Cross CMS makes it very easy to change the route of your control panel. So all you have to do right right now is a uh, CP. CP uh, CPHY, which is short for company. <laughs> so if I change this CP trigger to let's say admin, right now if I go, it will show me or cannot find because I changed the route. But if I changed it, if I change it to admin, now I get it back. Then I'm going to change it back to CVVH. And then, yep. Okay. So this is the we to our, uh, at the moment, I kind of, I forgot how to activate it, uh, but while I was going through a tutorial on Craft, right, they did, uh, they did feature this, right? And this is really cool because uh, what happens is right now I can't really show, but what happens is that you see this C at the corner. 
uh, I forgot how to activate it, but basically it will appear right at the bottom. And then when you expand it, right, this is what you get. And then uh, you get to see like um, things like resources, the status of your page, or whatever's going on, all the data and whatever that's going on uh, behind the scenes on your page. Uh. Then another one is this is really cool. So this is the matrix. I mean, they also con uh, cross CMS comes with a lot of uh, different kinds of fields, but I think the one really cool one is this matrix field, which basically allows a user right to really um, structure the the positioning to position the content. So <coughs> let me go back to a page to show. So let's say I go to a product page. So this is one example of a, this is a page that uses all this content is basically, uh, this is entire thing is a matrix field. Everything after the quote below is a matrix field. So now I go to entries. Uh, what product is this? Feature product one, okay. I go to feature product one, oops. And then let's say I do a live preview. So you notice everything here below. You see the item page content, all that, right? It's basically, it's basically positioned exactly the way all this content is positioned. So right now, if I, s this is a text tag. Uh, if I smooth my code down to here, look at how it, it refreshes. This code is this, right? If I move it back up, it moves back up. So this is this is like really cool. I was like, wow, this is so cool. And what's even cooler, right? You think that all this so right here I have a right here I have a page item content. Here I have another item page content here. But in the code, right, you only need to define each block of code once. And then Cross CMS is smart enough to figure out, okay, I see there's an item page content here, I see there's another page content, uh, page, item page content here, and then uh, I will just render the code, the template code that is, that is responsible for displaying this. Uh. So if I go back to my code. So actually this moving around elements, right? is after move around, they generate a separate code base based on what you've done. I'm guessing so, but it's all hidden from you. Oh, okay. Yeah, so this basically, of when I was building up this whole thing, right, the only part that I ever touched actively, right, were the template section. And of course, the web, the web to put in all your front end, like your resources and stuff. So let's say, for example, the, the page content, is it? Yeah. So, so even though like the page item content right is there's one block here, and then another block here right. Behind the scenes are uh, in my code right. I only need to define this once only. And then based on the based on based on this block right, it's smart enough to know okay uh, which which thing to uh, render. So yeah, this is really cool. Of course, got there are, there are your typical standard fields are like text, uh, images, and stuff like that. But I thought this was the kind of feature. So like as you, you saw just now, I give you a glimpse already. Uh, another thing I like is uh, the tweak templating uh, engine that that uh, craft that craft uses. Uh. So it's a lot like you know Blade right? Uh, Blade right? I think I forgot. Blade is, 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 wait, is a uh, curly brace and exclamation mark, right? I forgot. Curly right? Brace, curly, brace. curly brace, curly brace, yeah, okay. Uh, curly brace, curly brace for string interpolation, but the normal, like, block, okay, never mind. Oh, oh, okay, yeah. So, similar, so it's very similar to Blade. So, here are more like links. Because later I want, I want to dive into the demo. <laughs> so these are some links. Uh, one thing I want to highlight is Craft Quest. If anyone's interested in like tutorials on Craft CMS, or Craft, Craft Quest was a website we found. Basically, they have tutorials all on Craft, and then Craft has its own uh, Stack Exchange uh, website as well. 
and then uh, yeah, shout to me. <laughs> Uh, I don't have Wi-Fi, right? But basically, I, I wrote an article on Craft CMS on dev.to. So this is a link to my Sorry, is, uh, article. CMS for no, but it has... It's not open source, but it has a free license. What? You can only make modifications to a template. Yeah. Template. Correct. And any PHP code modification requires plugins. Uh. Any, like... PHP, any modification to class CMS like code base, you need plugins for that. So, like to modify the existing, you can only modify the existing templates? Correct. No, no, uh, templates are your own. So, you can build your own templates. And basically, a lot of times, things you can. Uh, you, yeah, most of your, temp, uh, your templates are basically what you need to get your things done. Uh. Mm. Maybe uh maybe one very good example is things like let's say let's say on your website you need user content, let's say uh contact page, uh let's say a contact form, those kind, right? Then I think you need a plugin for that. There is no uh inbuilt I've not I've not yet figured out an uh, inbuilt way to do things even simple things like contact form and all that. Uh. But for static content, uh yeah. Class CMS handles it pretty well. So, let me go example. Because we did. Okay. Uh, yeah, uh, maybe I'll go in and show you around. Uh, so, I'll leave the page. So, remember I talked just now a bit about dev mode? So, even on the CP panel, right, there's this yellow bar here. This yellow bar also indicates. It's a visual indicator that you're in dev mode. So if I set it to false, right, then this yellow bar will go away. So this is what I'm talking about. So there are fields, there are sections, and then there are entries. So sections are, like I said, con the containers of a content. Just now I was showing you uh, products, right? So I have a product item. So a product item is a, is a page. So this is where I define uh, the section type. And then this is basically the URL. So it's like, it's like this uh, product stash. Uh, yeah. And then, uh, so then, so this is the section where you define your yeah, 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 entry container. And then in your fields, this is where you go in to create the fields. So that, so maybe I go through, should I go through? Okay. Maybe I go through, maybe I go one through one process on the whole, the whole process flow on in Craft CMS, right? On adding a field to a section and then using the field to add, uh, add, add uh, content to the page. So let's say right now, I want to add, I don't know, uh, maybe a tagline here in the feature, uh, feature item. So what I go first is I go to fields and product. And I create a new field and say product tagline. And then, okay. So, and there I go, settings. So, now I created the field, but right now, I have not added the field yet to a section. So, even though I created the field, right, if I go to entries now, I go to a uh, featured product, I won't have that field uh, available here yet because I'm not yet added to the section. So, now, now I need to add it to the section. So, I go to sections, I go to product item, <laughs> And this is, here again, Cloud CMS gives you a very uh, simple interface to edit whatever fields you want to put into your, to, what, what fields you want to put in so that uh, other users can edit uh, entry data. So here I created a new product tagline. So I'm going to drag it over to, let's say here. And then let's say I go to entries. Oops. Need to save. Okay. Go to entries. I go to product one. I say 
some pack line. I save. Ah, but there's one thing. If I refresh my page, I'm still not going to get anything yet because I haven't yet added the template code to. I haven't yet added the template code to show the tagline. So, I'm in entry, just make sure I'm in entry, entry page. Okay. Uh, where do I want it? Okay. Where's the title? Okay. Oops. Let's see. So right now I'm in a I'm in the entry so if I type entry dot tagline of oh, problems Okay and I refresh and there we go some tagline So how then they may be asking uh how does how does cross CNS know what's entry? Okay. Entry it's is default. When you define when you define let's say I go back to uh let me go back to action, to sections. Let me go back to sections key edge type. I did. No, not here, sorry. My bad. Blech. Yes, okay. So how does it know okay? This is the URL the template, right? And then I define I define here I define here the URL the template which is product slash entry dot three. So uh, cross CMS is no knows to okay, so basically the, the template code to uh, product item is basically in products in a plus folder and it's the underscore entry uh, entry dot twig. So uh, by default entry is a craft it's a craft it's a default um uh, value uh, to, to call. Then for in this case of things like let's say product tagline, product types, how Cloud CMS knows what these are, right? It's basically when I go back to my settings and I go back to my fields. Uh, ah, it's the handle. So this is through the handle, right, that craft uh that craft CMS um, is able to pull out that uh, the content of that entry or the field. Yeah. So. Oh yeah, one more thing. <laughs> one more. Uh, one more thing I also want to show. I forgot. Is uh, image transformations. Another one. So, let me go back to this one. You see this. Uh, this image here, right, is actually only, I uh, only have to upload one source, one image source. And then in settings, we go to assets. Here, image transformations, right, based on, based on what I've defined here, right, on the different, uh, I can, based on the image transformation defined here, uh, craft will crop or resize the image accordingly. Uh, accordingly to what you uh, use. Uh. So, one good example is here the image I'm using the cut, the large cut uh, image transform. And yeah, so there's uh, image transformations in uh, Craft CMS. You don't download it to Composer, or you can download. It will give you the zip. Yeah. So the um it but it has a license uh, So it's got uh three tiers of licenses. There's the free one. So the only the main the main difference between the different licenses is how many admin accounts you have. Uh. So for a free license, right? Uh, you only have one. Like let's say for me, for right now I'm the like the so-called the super 
admin of the entire control panel. You see, I can go in, I can create fields, I can create sections, I can go in and create entries and all that, right? But generally, I think in, in, in May, most, mostly, you don't really want to do that, right? You probably have one account that has access to everything, but most of the time you want to restrict access to different components of the control panel based on the different people. Let's say like you only want editors to maybe go into entries, but you don't want them to start messing around with the fields and stuff like that, right? Then that's where you need the, the, the there's a pro and an enterprise pricing. So those, uh, those will cater to that. So let's say, just imagine SPH uh, make a very drastic decision to change to first uh, or CMS CMS. First CMS. Huh? Craft CMS. Craft CMS. CMS. Yes. Uh, will this, I mean, uh, they, I mean, there will be company support this kind of stuff. Yeah. So they have, okay, they have, the pro license is, uh, allow multiple ME accounts, then they also have an enterprise one which is basically a customized solution now. Uh, but <laughs> yeah. But, yeah. Any other questions? Okay, thank you Davina.